Hey, come on in. It's great to see you. We have our second soap today from Boondabeard and Philip Sharp. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duo! Hey, y'all, it's great to see you. Come on in if you happen to be here during the live premiere. Join the live chat. Meet the Whiff Pack, an awesome group of folks from all over the world hanging out, and they'd love to meet you, too. They would, and for our mention today, because our friend, Philip Sharp, we originally met when he was making these awesome 3D bowls, we wanted to show you our collection We've here. We've got a few, y'all. This is the prototype. This yes, is the first, the first one, one that came off of the printer for us, and mm -hmm. then he surprised us almost immediately with a custom yeah. the barbershop duet bowl and he figured out how to do all kinds of different and he's got a new cyclone one coming out too so oh. keep your eye on them they're super fun nice lightweight durable brush bowls. holders lather extractors mm -hmm. y'all mysteries and wonders to be yes. at. so hey philip thank you for believing in our little show and sending these out to us and helping us help you get started. Mm -hmm. It's been one of the great joys of our show so yeah. far. Yeah, so speaking of Boondabeard, Philip has a website now where he distributes Boondabeard and a few other new artisans, so check his website yeah, out. And constant viewers will have seen our Drama Daris episode not long ago. Mm -hmm. This is the soap and this is the bomb that's kind of in a solid form. We love this. So we decided on this one, y'all. We were going to forego the tallow formula and look at one of the glycerin hard pucks. Mm -hmm. A little new for us here on the show, but we are told that we can also scrape and bowl leather that one just the mm -hmm. same as we do all our others. So yeah. we figured, hey, why not? Let's have some afternoon tea! Yeah. All right, y'all. So from the sales page at sharpshaver.com. Afternoon tea is a wonderful way to indulge yourself in a special experience. Our luxurious pampering products are the perfect way to start or end any special day, or just a day when you need to forget about reality for a while. You can soak in the bath, lather up with our creamy shaving soap, and shave your legs to a feeling that is as smooth as silk. After you gently toweled yourself off, apply our aftershave leg balm to take your legs from sexy to uber sexy, smooth, luscious, and irresistible. Wow. This shaving experience may be intensified by the anticipation of heading off to the Cape Winelands with a special friend, getting treated to a beautifully formal but relaxed open table setting in the vineyards, specially prepared for the two of you to enjoy a cup of tea and freshly baked delectables. Our first fragrance in a shaving soap that is dedicated to the fairer sex, we are offering it in our latherlicious mutton tallow base, the user-friendly glycerin base, and our popular natural tallow leg balm. My goodness! Ooh, y'all! Every single woman I know is a wet shaver. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen an epa lady in 30 years. So y'all, I am excited when, when sites like this or Sterling have a section just for the mm -hmm. ladies because it can only be helpful to this wet shaving world to open it up to the other half of the population. Mm -hmm. And often there are so many soaps on a page that it's hard to know just by a picture or label right. like which one may be in the more feminine lane. Not that they have to be, but if you're just starting off, it's kind of nice to have a little guideline. So right. I'm excited to have an idea. We have done the tallow soap, but we have not done the glycerin soap so it's nice to kind of know what options they have and the tallow soap was off the hook y'all mm -hmm. so i'm excited to see what surprises lie yeah. in this glycerin formula but we, first of all we have to unbox it This is how they come from Philly. I think it's from Philip? Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, I think oh, so. Oh, 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 <laughs> I do have to say, oh, oh, I put the order in late on our time. And then I woke up to already have missing a message from Philip to confirm that that was the order. And then I already had a shipping label and it was already on the way by the time I woke up. Yo, he is on it for shipping. Prides mm -hmm. himself on the shipping calendar. You and I will confirm. On it, mm -hmm. All right, open it up. Let's okay. see what we got. Oh, there's a little oh, thing on top. I'm not sure if we looked at this there. on the Butterman episode. Oh, they got it! Oh, I love that. I'm a sharp shaver, y'all. Oh, no, so cool. Let's see. Return policy, product name. Okay, it's all here. All yeah, here we go. We got the right box. Okay. Let's Ooh. see. Okay. Oh, it's wrapped this up is... nice, y'all. What'd you oh, get? Oh, yeah, there's two. Oh, there's okay. two. You, you, Wait, but, well, there's two? Because one's the leg box. Okay, hold on. Oh, it comes in a, like a puck. Oh, I see. Oh, what oh. is this? Yeah, that's the leg box. What is bomb? this? So I went with Boonda Babe. That's what, what I said that? on there. Y'all. But she looks super what fun. What is this? That. And Are then you look kidding? at that! that label. Friends at having tea! That is fantastic! Is and there I, a yeah. scent to this? I think so. Bunda Babe. Yeah. It's Bunda Babe, not Bunda Beard. Y'all. Uh -huh. How cool. Does it have a scent? Does uh, this... I think so. I, I looked it up on the website. We can, oh, when we get to opening things. But it's not a scent that's in the shaving soap. It, it's its own leg balm scent. We got a bonus leg balm scent, y'all. I think there's only one thing left to do, and that's mm -hmm. have a first impression! <laughs> Yeah, 
guess I'm going first, uh, apparently. <laughs> it's your on birthday. Of course you're going okay. first. Okay. All right. Take it in. So a glycerin tea. one. I'm curious how much you'll get off the puck. Like sometimes people say the oh. glycerin, you know, until you wake it up. So we shall Do see. Do they say that? I, I'm very uneducated on my glycerin. I, so I think you know. I've heard that, well, but I could be a liar. find out right here live oh, on the show. It's very, this is what oh, it looks like. So it's pretty. a very smooth pour. Oh, I'm already getting whiffed. Oh, oh, oh nice. Okay. All right. Take it in. What kind of tea you got? Oh, it's a very nice, like smooth kind of smell. It's it has some florals in there. Like oh. I think if I'm sitting, like even in this picture, look, you can see there's like flowers around. Right. Like I really feel like I'm sitting outdoors, nice. and there's flowers around me. But then the calming kind of tea side kicks in. I don't know if I can pick out what tea necessarily, but I oh. kind of like that. I don't know if I can tell right. if there's just that. Well, generally, I know like an Earl Grey is rather popular in the yes. wet shaving world, or like a black tea. Mm -hmm. But maybe there's some herbal stuff going on in there. But I do have to say, if I had to pick something out for the gals. This does totally feel like it's not a specific age range, if that makes sense. Right, right. And, and the scent on here is actually pretty potent. Nice. So I don't know if maybe it sits different in the glycerin, but right. It, like right off the puck, I can Whoa. really smell it. And you know what I kind of love, y'all? I love that and they do create a female line. It's not just here. Roses, right? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Wait a minute. No, there's some We're not here. just going to go with the easy options here. We're going to do an afternoon tea vibe, mm -hmm. right? Totally. And around here, we've got like the Fairmount Hotel in San Francisco, and we've got places where you can actually go to experience that ritual of an afternoon tea, right? Put on and your I, fuff, fuff, fuff clothing. I know it says afternoon tea, but I really do get like a midday vibe from it. Oh. Like I do feel like it'd be like a good refresher to go out for later or if you wanted to have it early morning so you could wear it with right. you for the day. Like there is something very bright and nice about it. Nice. Now there are some scents that kind of go along with tea sometimes. A little bit of bergamot sometimes. A little bit of maybe a, a little bit of shortcake or something on the table. Are you getting any of those? Maybe. I, I don't, it's, mm. I, maybe when I lather it up, but I don't know. I, I'm not getting something that's crazy gourmandy to me. Oh, like I'm not okay. getting that. I'm okay. getting, and I don't want to say it's perfume e, right? Because like sometimes we say things are cologne e, right? But it does have more of. If this person was wearing this and walked by you, yeah, you would put you know, expect to open your eyes and it'd be a lady walking by, okay, most likely, right? right you right, know, right. like it's just something that would kind of be the after with. I'm nice. fascinated with this. Is not a gourmand. Mm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A beautiful wearable scent crafted from an inspiration of afternoon tea? There's something light and sweet about it, but I don't want to put it in my mouth. You now, is I mean? this what Alice smells like? Oh, you know? Uh, if she was dolled up, yes. Oh, oh! There's something, there's that something helps. presentable. Like, you know, yes. you're getting dolled up to go to your right. afternoon tea. You are trying to feel nice about that it. That helps. That helps point me in a direction. Yeah. Okay, okay. See, see what you get. I'm curious. I'm excited. I love the look of this pour. I don't think I've ever had anything. No, else. I'm so actually very excited to try and laugh at that. That's the glycerin. The first uh, ingredient is coconut oil, actually. Ah. Glycerin's like third. Okay. Yeah. All right, here we All go. All right. We have not had something like this yet. Wow. I don't think. Y'all, look at my face. I didn't expect to be anywhere near as charmed by this, and I was really <laughs> expecting to be charmed by this. Hold on. Wait. Whoa. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful scent. You you are right. This is this is an elegant. Yes, it's person. like a classy kind and, of. And vibe. it is not a gourmand. I bring you glad tidings mm -hmm. of great joy. Well, not that that would have been the easy way out. Right. But we all kind of know what an afternoon tea ma 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 scent is supposed to be mm -hmm. like. We have a few of them, right? This is different. It this, is. this is literally for me what Alice would wear to the tea party. You think? Okay, oh, yeah. Y'all, and you're right. Maybe she is a little bit too young for this. this but is not maybe, in a bad way. This is just a like ladies' night out, twenties, thirties kind of thing, right? Hold, hold on. This has the gorgeous, the gorgeous face of some florals. This has mm -hmm. the charm and the whimsy of some like gourmet candy. I know it's not a gourmand, but there's like right. a sugary sense in here of something you might put in the tea. Well, and I know some people say they put cream in tea, but I don't know if I get well, too, too much creamy. It's sweeter. You no, know, I don't really. I, I get sort of the subtle hint of a right. lactonic without it needing to yes. be a lactonic. I agree. Right? So just enough to kind of give you a, a, a subtly, subtly creamy base because mm -hmm. like a tea is not creamy like a like no. a cappuccino yeah. is mm -hmm. right you can load that up with cream but no afternoon tea is, is meant to just have a, the english way anyway mm -hmm. just sort of a whisper just enough right. to like make it a little bit it cloudy out, yeah that's what this does oh whoa and then at the end you know hold on <laughs> hold on this comes all the way up to gourmand and at the last minute it flips so yeah. if you are a gourmand fan i think there's a lot here for you but on the last analysis the very last character of this isn't gourmand. It's a person. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, hold on. Let's have a grown-up conversation. And this is actually apropos. Okay. <laughs> Going back in my mind of like famous people or characters who I think would smell like this, because ah. I'm thinking who would be like sweet and wonderful enough to eat, but then at the ve- no, don't take it that way. But then at the very <laughs> last minute, like it changes and it becomes like a character and somebody strong but somebody beautiful. This is a Mary Poppins. Oh, scent. I could see that. Crystal, I bring you glad mm-hmm. tidings of great yep, joy. For this sure. is what Mary would smell like because there's something like magically yes. sweet to this. Y'all, this ain't afternoon tea. This is so much more than that. Zoom out. Mm -hmm. Zoom out. Hold on. Whoa. There's there's something comforting in this scent. Like, whoever the company is that you're in at your afternoon tea, you're very happy to be with them. Right. And I think there's something about the reason I said Mary Poppins in this is if she's taking you out on the town, you are well taken care mm-hmm. of. You know what I mean? Like, magically taken care of. Yeah. They were, I'm so glad you said that. I actually want to get this under other ladies' noses because I, no. I'm curious what they would say. Like, if they didn't know anything about the wet right. shaving world, what would you get taking a whiff from this? Like, I really feel like it could kind of grab them in a little right. bit. There's something really nice about it. And, y'all, I love that the scent scent on this is such quality because sometimes look no offense to any of like the factory stuff but sometimes when i smell the stuff that's designed for her Mm -hmm. that is in our shower and in our medicine cabinet very little work was done okay like (laughs) very little work was done this is sort of a cheaper scent oil i can tell like uh, it's a little medicine-y out fine Mm y'all the level of quality and luxury on this scent and how it was crafted is what they deserve. Mm-hmm. It's what they deserve to have. They deserve to have exactly the same stuff that we have, if not better. Take a whiff and pretend if it was taking you somewhere, like if it is kind of South okay. African-based florals. Oh, right. It's, are you getting different florals or are you getting ones that you can no, pull out? I'm getting totally different florals. Right, and you know me what I too. Love? The center of it is a little bit like carnation, a little bit something I, I understand. But then by the time you're done with your whiff, yes, you have been taken somewhere far away, which I think this is why I went Mary Poppins with it. Mm -hmm. This is not the American flowers that we know. This is something way more fun and like a vacation sort of flower. I I almost get like a light breeze in the air or something too. Like it doesn't seem like it's too hot. I don't know how that comes through. And you know, I don't say this about flowers often, I think, if ever, but these florals have a charming character to them. Mm -hmm. They're just like this beautiful little bouquet somehow all tied up in a neat little bow. There's just something magical yeah. about the florals in this. I'm I'm glad that I was uh, went right. for the afternoon tea for my first one to try. They this smell is a good... pink. The flowers mm-hmm. smell pink in hey, this. I'm not look, sure how. In the picture, they are pink. I don't know if that's intentional. Well, there you go. But yeah, there's thank a you. You'll smell better action. just watching this. Yeah. We'll see you next week. What? Love this. I love wow. this. Okay. okay. Now, the moment I have been waiting for, I want to see how this thing lathers. Right. So we've got our normal bougie sticks. Now, so we were told you by uh, Philip here, we could just scrape it off. I know in there it says to just kind of rub it on your legs. And this does have more of like a puck vibe if you wanted to be able to like rub it like a puck. Okay, let's see what we scrape on. Does it scrape? It, it does. does scrape. We got it some does scraping scrape. here. Okay. okay. And then let me pour it in the right, little gotcha. scrapings. It's like Okay, so it's like wood shavings. Yeah, just, you know. And then he said you could just kind of put it, smash it in the bowl right. like we normally do. Okay. And these bowls have awesome grooves in it. Oh, so I really see. feel like it would totally go yeah. in there. And those actually press really nicely and neatly. Yeah, those grooves in there. And from like the bottom mm-hmm. of our shape bowl here. All right, got it. And this is our bougie sprayer from Sean oh. and Julie Smaldridge. Thanks, y'all. Okay, I'm going to let you do the oh, honors at okay. this. So here's what it looks like, yeah, y'all. The we smashed it in there. Mm-hmm. Got some wetness to it now. There okay. we go. And I got my big old yaki brush. This Not is my big around. one. We're going to use this for powder on the back of the neck. Well. <laughs> 30 uh, uh, milliliters here. Okay. All right, All right let's, let's see how we... Oh! It's, it's whatever we're here. Oh, oh, that's immediate, y'all. And, and for those who are wondering, the actual glycerin-based soap is $15 on the website. And right. then the, the tallow one is 20 so if just those people that like hey. the glycerin side or they're not, then there you, you got go. options. But it is more bang for your buck waking up wonderfully bed. here. Wowie zowie. She might oh. be a little thirsty, but oh, it's, it smells it. y'all, wonderful. Y'all, this scent. Hold on. I don't want to understate this. I know I have not used the F word list in a while, but this is crawling up my favorites list and is not even made for guys. This, this is, I'm getting it way over I know, here. it's very potent. I this don't know like if it's... four, four point five 4.5 intensity? I would agree. And so I know, I know that <laughs> some people were wondering on the last one too, so I'm, I wanted to say it right away. Like, I got a whiff immediately. Us gals like to know what we're shaving with. Holy crap, Especially mysteries and wonders. You know, when we're shaving and it's on our legs, it's much further from our face. Y'all get to have it, like, up in your nose. So the more intensity is actually kind of nice to have for our legs. Look at this. She okay, has a point I will not expound upon. <laughs> Y'all. It's waking up well. Y'all? <laughs> th- this is this is like my favorite floral we have. It, it's such a fun character to it. I, did I just say that? You did. Marcus said it. Y'all. You heard him. Wow. 
It's this is incredible. This, I don't, I'm not even getting that much tea. I'm still enjoying the flowers. Hold on. Right, right. I'm sure there's tea there, but there's Beautifully something. pink, subtle flowers, and this leather is crazy. I know. I feel like we could even do a little more work, but even just in that little time, look this at that. This is cheaper. This is cheaper. And it's it's a 5.6 ounce tub. It's it's a hefty little tub there. No, this could take you a year to polish this off. Are you kidding me? I know. I feel like we, now we, maybe we did too much so Yo. That's crazy, John. I'm not sure if you can see, but that's about how much we scraped out. So it kind of is pretty close to what you would take off of the normal towel puck, and it's working. Y'all? Well, let me just Hold say. Y'all. Y'all? <laughs> Marcus has lost words. Y'all. <laughs> well, I mean, w when your expectation is like there, oh, right. and it goes Ring, oh, off the scale, and it dislocates your arm, that's this. Mm -hmm. uh, I just can't get enough of this scent. Okay, so y'all, we do realize that when we watch our shaving shows, we do like it when they mm -hmm. lather the face so that we can kind of get a sense of the base and how it covers, a little bit of the slickness, things like that. So, here we are. You do the honors. Okay. You first, me first. Oh, you, you can go first. Oh. oh. Oh, it actually does. I didn't think I would be able to tell the difference. I know this is a hefty brush. But Michelle Marceau. Try it try for your... Okay, here we go. We do the honors here because it does feel... Oh, yeah, there is a lot of slickness. Are like you, kidding you are me really this? protected with this. So, ladies, I know sometimes you got the bony parts oh. on your legs. This has a great, like, already built-in extra protection layer. I feel like. And before we make more of a mess, can we please see the ingredients for this afternoon tea? All right, y'all. So we realize there are not really scent notes on the right. Bunga Beard page. More description, but, but there you go. I want to kind of pick these out because hold on a second. The last thing that this has is a little bit of a kind of a charm that if you gave this to a seven-year-old to smell, they would love it. And mm -hmm. there is something about that quality that my nose has learned to trust. <laughs> because if there can be a crowd pleaser, shouldn't it please everybody? Mm -hmm. And there is something about those beautiful EDPs that are made for littles, like Disney makes it, mm -hmm. like things like that, that they make like a frozen EDP. There is a beautiful scent to those that mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure how they're doing it. I'm, I don't think it's like a natural smell. Right. But there is something to the sweetness mm -hmm. in those that is just... A little bit childish and a little bit charming and a little bit beautiful and it, it looks like a little kid who would be it looks like alice yeah, right yeah. it looks mm -hmm. like it'd be made for alice to wear there is a little bit of that youthfulness quality mm -hmm. in this soap somehow right. in the sweetness to it so look set notes flowers i think we've already decided that these are not american Th flowers. there's something different i almost get like you know those flowers that are almost so <gasps> tissue paper-y that they almost look like they're just like right. really stacked kind in like there a peony or like right. something but like that right but there's something in that lane it's not one that you get all the time it's not right. a rose it's not, like i can tell you what it's not but i still can't figure out what that is but i feel like the vibe overall from this is like the first time i went to go get my nails done and that was like a right. big deal as right. a lady. Or to get your ears pierced. There's something like getting all dolled up for a special right. wedding and you're the flower girl. There's something in this that has that just final little touch of like feeling nice in your own skin and feeling right. pretty. Like it comes through in well, the scent and somehow. And for some of my friends, there's a rite of passage for little boys when they get their first BB gun and you take them <laughs> to the shooting range or something. But there's also a rite of passage for little girls in my family that sometimes they get taken to afternoon tea. There uh -huh. is a ritual to that. You wear gloves to eat finger right. sandwiches. <laughs> I don't understand it, but it's there. And even in the Sopranos, Carmela yeah, and, right. and, and, and Meadow would go, go to the, tea. the yeah. right the Eloise tea. Right? right, there's just something to that like ritual mm -hmm. of having that. And the little girls would play tea party all the time. They right? do. So y'all, there is something to this that is just rocketed to the top of my favorites list because of how well this pays off. Its mm -hmm. name, its label, its vibe. But you know what's funny? I don't get much tea. I, I don't get as much tea as I thought. I thought it was going to be like tea forward with a little feminine-ish to it. But I, I definitely get more the vibe of where I'm at having that, tea. That, that. So I don't get the Earl Grey or the, the cucumber sandwiches. Mm -mm. But I get the classiness of mm -hmm. the Carlisle Hotel lobby. Right, the company I, you're right, with. Right, right. I get that it's it's moms and little girls in beautiful matching dresses and gloves and just that beautiful adventure. Like you're going to mm -hmm. go have out in the city with your mom for the first time. Oh, and remember, this didn't happen very often in my family. But like where dad would take you to do something, just you and dad. Right. And you felt like like kind of special, right? Mm -hmm. Mom and I would do stuff all the time, just like her. <laughs> but it was kind of like that. It like was, you were yeah. going off on like a little adventure with one parent mm -hmm. to just kind of have your own little private time. Yeah, no, life. even my friends now that have kids, they'll call it like mommy date day or daddy date day. And right. it's like, it is, it's just like a specific time for just you to hang out. Like there's something, the <sighs> vibe and energy of this smell. You are having a good time. You're right. enjoying what you're doing. And that hotel lobby has the most beautiful orchids and flowers mm -hmm. on the table. It's there's all there something. and somehow they're pink. Mm -hmm. I can tell that too. And even the sugar for the tea is already there on mm -hmm. the table. 
Y'all, I would much rather this have been an afternoon tea vibe than the actual Earl Grey tea coming out mm -hmm. of the pot. I don't know how they did this. We but, don't have uh, anything like this in our den. We do no. have some that have florals in them, but they're a little more like a specific floral in. This is still a vibe to me. I, I'm just enjoying being there. And y'all, if these scents for the ladies are this good from Bundabir, mm -hmm. I wonder what this smells like. We're going to have to go deeper because I don't think I take it. So this is an 8.4 ounce aftershave leg balm, y'all. 8.4 ounces, let me just say. 20, 21 bucks. Okay, Bunda Beards. I'm not sure if I'm gonna say this right. I'll do my best. Rui Roki leg aftershave balm is a game changer for women who want to experience the same high quality, luxurious shave products that men have access to. This 8.4 ounce balm is specifically designed to soothe and moisturize the skin after shaving, leaving your legs feeling incredibly smooth and nourished. This balm is enriched with natural ingredients like aloe vera and shea butter, giving it a refreshing and rejuvenating scent. Whether you prefer to shave your legs in the shower or after, this balm is the perfect finishing touch to your shaving routine. Treat yourself to a spa-like experience with Bunda Beard's Aftershave Leg Balm and discover the difference it makes with your skin. Okay. I'm gonna go shave my legs now. I wanna try that. I, I chose this because she's darn cute. I wanted to hang out with her. Uh, let me just say, the label got me. That reminds me of you. Guys. I just, uh, yeah, I want to put a poke down. I want to be as carefree as she is. Let me just totally say. Totally see you in that dress. 100%. So I have no idea what this will smell like, the but uh, give me a, give me a. All right. Take, yeah, no we don't here. have any kind of scent notes. Yep. I'm not 100% well, sure this has it a scent. It does kind of look like it's it's Ooh. really smooth on top. Why doesn't everybody have these front of ladies? Just saying. Oh, it's fun. It's, oh. uh, it's summery. I'm glad I went with this one. Yeah? What do you got? Hold on, there's a lot. We got of no there's, map at all, so there's a lot happening. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hold up, maybe we should put this lady over here. There's so, a bright, yeah. citrusy, sweet, uh, oh. maybe coconutty something. Fun. Hey, bonus. I, I, I don't think there's a menthol in here, oh, but menthol. it almost smells like there's a minty something right, happening. Right, right, right. Give it a whiff. Let's <laughs> help you out. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, I see if any of those words. Uh, <laughs> you know? Whoa! Right. I know. It's fun. It's zesty. Yo, I don't beautiful know. citrus florals that take you all the way up to this wall. And then you know what's written on the wall? Blue de Chanel. Oh. Now, it's not blue de Chanel. <laughs> but like when it takes you to the end of the whiff and it says goodbye, this girl might have been wearing blue de Chanel yesterday. There's a, a little bit of that. Well, think about how gorgeous that set is mm -hmm. and everything that's swirling around in it. Y'all, this is a deep one. Do you get a, a pineapple-y thing at the end? Oh, is that is that Aventus what and Blue Dish? I don't know. I think Please hold. Or, or yeah. That, is it? Yeah. Or something icy. Like I don't think. Hold on. Let's put. It on Yo, there. this is as beautiful a blend as anything oh, in the men's shaving. It room. is. This will last you a lifetime. <laughs> I, you know, like when you get your first, you know, those those lip glosses that used to come in the tubs, yeah, and you were just trying right. to take a little bit off. Like trust them. It just. Oh, guys, this will last 25 years. <laughs> For hold sure. On, hold on, hold on. Like, oh. I wanted to kind of oh. see if there's a sheen or anything. And you know, I wouldn't say this was a, a feminine scent. I, I would say this goes right down uh, the That's middle. why hold I said on. summer. Yeah. See, see what you think here. Oh, nice. See, even if I push down hard, I don't yeah. like push into it, right? It just kind of coats. Oh. 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 And it's not, um, it, it's moisturizing, but I don't feel like I'm oily after. No, Does and y'all, if you have any of the bombs made mm -hmm. for the boys over from Bunda Beard, this is a very close cousin and it is oh, wait. fabulous. So the same directions like there. Actually, oh. take a fingertip of balm from the jar and place it in the palm of your hand. Rub until warm and gently massage into freshly shaved leg, underarms, bikini area, or any part of the body that needs a bit smooth love. Gentle enough to use on your face, the warmer the balm feels in your palms, the quicker it will be absorbed into your skin. The product can be used as part of a daily skin moisturizing, nourishing regimen. We suggest using less in the morning for a quick absorption and more at night for a deep hydration and nourishment. It's actually kind of fun because these, both of their balms is much more of that kind of harder right. puck right. that you like take stuff off instead of a liquid base, which is very different. Y'all really, this this is going to last us until the end of the show. Yeah, when we're on sure. episode 2500, yeah. we're still going to be using a little bit of this. But there are some times where you have a little bit rougher of a shave, ladies, and it's kind right. of nice to have something to kind of soothe things after. 
I would run to this for sure. Right. So it's pretty simple. Y'all, if you happen to have an audience with the queen and you want to look and smell Ooh. your best, put on a little of this, follow the rabbit down the rabbit hole. He's going to take you to a beautiful tea party. He's going to show you where the flowers are so you can get ready. But just about the time you get to meet her highness and she starts screaming, oh, it's with your head. You got your own. So head over to sharpshaver.com where you'll find this and bowls and brushes and all kinds of stuff I want. A great shave with my afternoon tea and I have to say this lather is a thing I felt totally safe using my razor being a little more brave than I usually would and the scent was wonderful I just let it permeate through the bathroom and take me away to a fun floral afternoon tea vibe and I have to say I'll be back to this multiple times I think it's not gonna be stuck with just this summer season there's something about it that really gravitates me towards wanting to feel a little bougie and fancy and the leg balm after was even better I really got whiffs of it throughout the rest of the night that I had it on so thank you Philip Sharp I'll be back for more <laughs> Welcome to Messages! Hey y'all! So our giveaway for the month of August is a $20 e-gift card to the Shave Supply of Southern California. So if you are our lucky winner, you can go see what Kara's got going on down there. Mm -hmm. Even pick up one or two of the new exclusives they've got. So all you have to do to be eligible is send an email here to we set you at the barbershopduet.com and mention the Shave Supply. That way we can get back to you if you are our lucky winner, which will be drawn on September 4th on the show. So come on back and check it out! Best of luck! I I haven't said F word list in a while. This he, is it. Yep. This is it. And wow. this this lather, y'all, wow. I, I, I gotta say, it is kind of fun to have a glycerin one to be able to play around with. I you know, I'm mean, it's a whole different but thing. This is kind of hitting me in that same place that like super nostalgic flavors and scents mm -hmm. hit me. Christmas decorations, right? A strawberry quick, Flintstones vitamins. I'm not sure yeah. why or how, but no, this, I, I'm with you. This is hitting me. I'm getting places. like a 90s vibe. I don't know if there was something Ooh, around this. at the time, but whatever this type of mixed in floral something magic, it's definitely hitting that spot. A whisper of evergreen? Oh. Are you getting that? A there, tiny yeah. wisp of Christmas tree? Yeah, maybe whatever is that tea bag. It might be a little, have a little, well, you know. And, and y'all, I, I really think these glycerin soaps might last us a year. I, 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 I don't want to put up a challenge more. to any of the whip pack members, but y'all, this could That's do it. That's 5.6 ounces. And look in there. Look at how much we use. I, I don't know, even I think know. we used a hair. Like, no, it's we just, just kind of yeah, into the bowl. That would last uh, forever. Y'all, miracles and wonders here in the shade world. And I'm just so encouraged that after a year and 350 episodes, today's episode had so many surprises. Right? I was not expecting that. I mean, I really went to just the ladies tab and that was the first one that I remember seeing go by. And I'm so glad that I went for it. Now I'm going to want the matching balm in that one. I, I, I mean, we, we're going to be back, Phil. Don't worry. I want to picture her on my bathroom right? she, I want to hang out with her, man. We have a good day going for tea with that hey, chick. Philip, thank you for knowing exactly what our nose is like. In this shaving world, Boner Beard and Sharp Shaver have yet to disappoint. And we are actually going live with Philip Sharp, so check out our Instagram live and see what he's all about. Yeah, if you didn't see the live, be a member of the replay crew. Y'all, we'd love to see you over there. Don't forget your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. You'll smell better just watching this.